Guys, I'm about to fucking cry. <laughs> this shit actually works! This shit works! <laughs> Yo! Okay. Hear that? It fucking works! Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> it works! It fucking works! <laughs> yes! We can close this. And enjoy the game. Oh yeah! And that, my friends, was my reaction when the server actually worked. Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Vegeta T23 and welcome to uh, my tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to actually get started for the server. If you have Java Minecraft, for whatever reason, uh, you can actually play it. You can actually play on the server and uh, it takes a few extra steps because it's not just all oh, boom boom IP in boom there we go boom easy. It takes a few extra steps you need to install a, an in-between program it's really easy I can show you. Now when you have done the number three let's actually begin with the whole thing. Okay so what you want to do is go on Chrome. I will leave all the links in the description below, so uh, you can easily follow along. But the first thing that you want to do is to get Forge. If you already know how to install mods, then you can skip this step. But for me, I'm going to do it the simple way. I'm going to show you that simple way. Um, it will not change anything, even if you have the original launcher or whatever. So we're just going to use the T-Launcher because I know everyone is going to be using it. And uh, you just go T Launcher, you open that, you open T Launcher from Minecraft, download TL, select platform Windows, you can choose either. I don't even know what supports Forge and what doesn't. I have Windows, so I'm gonna install for Windows. So once that completes, you open it, and this should pop up. It's called a setup. Continue, accept the license agreement. Now you see, this is gonna pop up. And if you don't want to um, install 20 programs, you uncheck this. That way, when you install one program, you don't install 20,000. So uncheck this because I don't want Opera because it's bad and I want Chrome because I still, you know, I have it. And ready to install, blah, blah, blah. Click continue, creating uninstall, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Run T launcher, create a shortcut on desktop. I suggest uh, leaving all those, but uh, yeah, I I'm not gonna run T launcher just yet. Because we need to continue because we need to install something else. And that something else is called zero tier one. What this is, is that in between program I was talking about. And uh, Basically, this is kind of like Hamachi, but not really Hamachi. It's actually a thousand times better, and I'll show you why. Because it actually lets you connect to the server that you're trying to connect to. So you're currently on this, right? And you go to download, and then once you have all that, you go to download links, and then you find the MSI installer, you know, Windows, blah, blah, blah. You have them for the Macs, Androids, Linux. Just choose your operating system, but everyone knows that everyone has Windows. So I'm just gonna install Windows installer. Uh, for this, you don't really install the latest version, which is 1.8 something. You install the one that is right here. Please download your tier 1.6.6 because no Windows 10, Windows 7 support, blah, blah, blah. So install that 1.6.6. There it is, should appear right here, run, 
blah 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 and there we go it's currently installing and this should pop up you click on yes but or no whatever you want it doesn't really care okay so once you have zero tier installed you can easily close out of this T launcher I'm gonna move into games um, sorry already had that thing next thing you need to do is you need to uh, open zero tier so press start it's already there you try to open it and it's right there just click on it and then there is a thing called join network you click on that and then I'm just gonna check all these you don't have to but uh, you know it kind of makes things easier now what the hell do you typing here well that's very simple I will provide you the code in the description but essentially uh, the code is okay uh, first I got a uh, control C control V so this is the code right here this thing and then press join what this allows is for you guys to connect to my server now once you're connected next thing you go to the T launcher and you run it now you see running T launcher is pretty simple <laughs> just press enter um, but uh, essentially what we're doing now is we're installing forge now for the username I'm just gonna type in Vegeta T23 because that's my username in, uh, in Minecraft Forge 1.7.10 because this is the version you're gonna be installing to and then press install initialization run and just wait for this until it loads now while we're at it while we're waiting let me show you how to one moment please okay now that we're back I'm gonna show you how to install the actual mods or where to find them in my case it's on the Google Drive this is also gonna be linked in the description but essentially this is it so mod packs blah 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 and let me tell you a little bit about the server so not only will you have the Dragon Block C and all the supporting mods but you also have Minecraft Comes Alive which is essentially kind of like Tupperbot in the T23 Discord server and the furniture mod which basically allows you to do whatever you want in your house Radix core is for this and this is a really nice feature this is called proximity voice chat mod what this allows you is basically discord in minecraft you push the talk and there we go all in minecraft you don't need a discord vc so that's about it and you want to do what you want to do is download that thing and uh give it a minute uh, okay just fucking do it thanks okay now that it's doing that uh you can uh, check on this 73 percent okay that's pretty pretty decent um uh go to downloads and this is already finished download okay and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this whole thing onto my desktop because um you'll see why so this is almost done okay everything works now you want to quit the game right and minimize the t launcher because you don't need it as of now and what you want to do now is go to start and type in percent uh, percent app data percent and press enter and it will open this which is basically the minecraft residence you open minecraft and then you see a lot of stuff now you see there is this thing called mods open that uh, you don't really need the skin cape thing unless you have the T launcher in which case you use it don't use it I'm just gonna remove it because I already have a skin there's also a plugin which allows online skins to be enabled 
Okay, and now what you want to do with this is select everything but this little thingy on top and just drag it. Bada beam, bada boom. Refresh, exit, both of them. Let's zip it, dab it, exit, exit. There we go. Easy. Boom. And now what you want to do is go to T Launcher, enter game again. And there we go, 13 mods loaded, let's check them out. And there it is, the old skin cape, Gilby's voice chat, there it is. All the core mods are there, options, controls. And that's it. And once you have the mods in, you will also have the IP. Now the IP is pretty simple. You go to multiplayer, add server, and then you name it something memorable something like that and then you type in the IP this is the IP it's also gonna be in the description just like everything else I will show you well already shown you done wait for it to ping and if you did everything correctly it should say this compatible 12 mods present this um, very uh, <laughs> exclusive uh, um, message of the day 100 members 3 ping join server connecting give it a second because zero tier and bada boom you're in the game and uh, now when you're in the server you can actually come talk to me I consider that done Thank you for watching. If you think that a boss is being a bitch for some goddamn reason and click dislike, but if you liked my tutorial, well, you know what to do. If you want to join the server, well, just follow this thing. And uh, as always, peace out.